day all welcome back to cruising classics youtube channel today we have for your viewing pleasure a 1965 pontiac gto and this is a real deal gto we uh we have the phs documentation on it it was originally born a different color it was a black car uh, with a white top and parchment interior still sporting the parchment interior but with a slick new coat of blue-gray paint. So it looks really, really spectacular on this car. Not a factory color, but man, it looks good. Up on the front, you've got the traditional GTO front end. 1965, of course, being the first year of the GTO with the stacked headlights. When they came out in 64, they were side by side. In 65, DeLorean moved them flanked on top of one another. You can see here they're set in nice chrome bezels. Really beautiful front bumper on this car. GTO badging on the split grill. And of course the Pontiac shield at the center. And the faux hood scoop, which really adds a lot to the mean, aggressive look of this car. And wait till you see what's under the hood. John DeLorean would be mighty proud of this uh, this car, it'll, it'll whip a, a GTO that came off the assembly line for sure. Around the side here, you'll see we've got Rally 2 style wheels with a really nice stance. They're in excellent condition. We've got Pontiac Motor Division center caps. And to match that, Federal Redline tires that provide this really nice cohesive look. It kind of marries up with the red on the GTO badge right next to it. And really pop on the car, it looks great. You can see here there's a lot of chrome to break up the sides. We've got wheel lip trim. We've got a nice chrome rocker cover running wheel to wheel. Window trim is bright and in good condition. <clears throat> Excuse me. You'll see we've got chrome drip rails and it is a hard top car, so no, uh, no B pillar. All the windows have trim all the way around. You'll see bright door handles and a driver's side chromed outside mirror. As we move to the back of the car, you'll see more badging that's in excellent condition. It looks like all the badges were bought either brand new or as as replacements for the originals. One of the things I love about the 65 GTO is these wrap around rear tail lights that kind of bring you around to the back of the car. And that same pattern flows all the way across the back with the Pontiac lettering in the center. It's just a really cool look. They didn't carry that on into 66, 67. They really changed the rear end of the car. But I'm a little preferential to the look of these 1965s. I think it's just great the way they did the back end on these. Uh, down underneath, you'll see there are chrome exhaust tips, uh, reverse lights integrated into the rear bumper, a Pontiac shield on the deck lid, and yet another GTO badge to let you know, stand back, this car is quick. I'm going to pop open the trunk here. It is an empty trunk, but a nice clean one. We just have the ubiquitous houndstooth vinyl mat in here. Uh, beneath the mat, just a nice clean splatter painted trunk. There's no spare, but the, uh, the hold down is present. And you'll see that it does have a power antenna. Uh, aftermarket, obviously. Moving on around the back of the car. These sides are really, really long and they are very straight. We've got photographs, quite a few of them from 2004 to 2006 when the restoration took place. Uh, they took this car off its frame. They did a full rotisserie on it and it still shows exceedingly well here in 2023. I'm sure it's been lightly driven, garage kept in a climate controlled environment in that time. You can tell by looking at the car, it's been very well cared for. The stance is just great. Again, you can see here in the back how the rear quarters cover just the top of the tire. 
and then up front here same thing just perfect somebody really worked hard to get that just the way they wanted it now folks the part you've been waiting for we're gonna get underneath the hood give me one second this is a two-hander we'll be right back and we are back we've got the hood open and it is everything I think we had hoped for it's gorgeous under here what we're looking at is a 1969 400 block that's been stroked into a 467. This all happened back when the car was restored in 2004 to 2006. We've got the receipts for the work from the speed shop that did all of it down in Tennessee. And they have made a ton of improvements. It's got <coughs> aluminum roller rockers. We've got a real nice cam inside of there. Hydraulic lifters. Here we've got, uh, there's a billet timing chain. We've got billet valve covers. Pontiac logo on them, of course. We've got a triple intake, and it is topped with four, or I'm sorry, three two-barrel Demon carbs. So in an homage to the original 65 GTO with the Tri-Power, we've got a modern Tri-Power with Demon carbs. Real nice air cleaners on top provide a killer look for it. You can see we've got some chrome going on with our alternator, with our water pump, done in chrome there. We have a nice new aluminum radiator from Rodney Red. There you can read that. This is a power steering car and power brake with all new brake lines, all new fuel lines. You can see that booster's new, We've got a dual reservoir, We've got an MSD ignition system, so it fires right up. This car runs like a champ. Usually tri-powered cars are a little difficult to get started and a little bit difficult to tune. This one rocks and rolls. It fires right up on the first key turn, lands itself at a nice low idle. It's a really good running car. I'll try and get a shot down here. I'm gonna have to move the phone to try and get the heads for you. These are Edelbrock Performer heads. Again, this is one heck of a nice engine in here. 467 stroker and a 65 GTO. Yes, please. John DeLorean would be proud of this one. Let's go check out the interior, which I wanna move on through because I wanna start it for you. This thing sounds great. As we open the driver's door, it's a beautiful parchment interior, just the way it was originally ordered. Black dash, black carpet, courtesy light up on the dome. Oh, it's not on because <laughs> I forgot on our battery that we have an easy disconnect. And that is, by the way, a correct 65 AC Delco battery topper, just to keep things looking right. Another quick shot of the engine before we head off to the interior. I knew the dome light worked, and when it didn't, I knew something was amiss. There we are. That's a nice, tight, white vinyl headliner with dual visors up front. Door cards are both in great shape. They're OEM correct, 65 GTOs. <coughs> There's some nice trim work that brightens things up. A GTO badge, both on the driver's door and over on the passengers. You can see the style of the door cards matches the seats, which are in excellent condition. Let's see, these seats look like they have only seen very light use. All of them have the Pontiac shield at the back. The back seat in particular looks unused. Whoever had this did not have grandkids. You see, you got an ashtray. Nice chromed out armrests. Back on the rear package tray, a couple of six by nine Pioneer speakers. And as we enter into the car, you'll see these are the old school 65 seats. They look great with the chrome trim down the sides. We've got the Fisher sill plate, nice and new looking. Still see the blue on the carriage. And that hook and loop carpet is in great shape. And you'll notice both in front and back, we've got carpeted floor mats, logos in the front. Thank you. 
seats are very comfortable, front and back. You'll see we do have a GTO dash here. No cracks in the dash. It's in excellent shape. The wood trim on the gauge cluster is a GTO only feature. Speedo works, tack works, fuel gauge works, but over here, the water temp and oil pressure do not. Uh, they've been replaced down below with SW gauges that do the same thing, and these do work. Your climate control, or a 1965 version of a climate control, works just as it should. Cranks out hot heat, it's got a nice strong fan, defrost works fine, does what it's made to do. Beneath it, we've got an auto sound radio with a Pontiac logo on it, it's AM FM cassette. Don't know if the cassette works, but the AM FM part does. Auto sound kicker panels have been put in here to accommodate some speakers for up front. Passenger has this nice GTO badge and a grab handle in case the driver decides to get spicy with things. And the glove box is a 1965 owner's manual. Also on the dash here, you'll see there's a lighter, an ashtray, and on the other side of the steering wheel, wiper controls and lights. And the wipers do work, they're two speed. As we back out here, I wanna get a look at this beautiful wood steering wheel. It's in excellent condition. And it's a three spoke with Pontiac Motor Division center cap, Pontiac shield. It looks spectacular. You see we've got the GTO foot pedals down below. In the center, a Hearst shifter with white pattern ball. Uh, this backs up a Borg Warner S10 four-speed transmission. It shifts like butter. I mean, it just cruises through the gears. It is really, really a pleasure to drive this. It shifts so easily. Between the seats, a uh, bracket for a fire extinguisher, should you feel the need to put one in, uh, or you could just take that out. It's only held in by a couple of screws. Again, passenger seat, excellent condition. Same with the door card, and back in the back. They look great too. So now, without further ado, I would love to start this car for you. GTOs of this era don't have a key on the column. It's all the way over on the side here. I'm not going to push on the gas till the car actually starts. I'm just going to hold in the clutch and do it. And there we are. Fires right up, holds a nice idle. A little bit of lope to the cam, but I like that. Let's give it a little rev, see what it sounds like. music to my ears. It sounds great. Let's go out and give it a listen up front. Oh, this is everything the GTO was meant to be. A slick looking mid-sized car with a beast of an engine that will beat all the others from traffic light to traffic light. It sounds really great the further towards the back you get. shipping. We can answer any questions you've got about the 65 Real Deal GTO with a 467 stroker and tri-power under the hood. Give us a call today. This surely won't last long. Again, we're Cruising Classics in Columbus, Ohio, 614-276-7355. Thank you for joining us. We'll be back again tomorrow with something else cool.